May we can all face our flag, and I will lead you in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everyone. I'm glad you can make it here today. On behalf of Director of the ES Division, Tim Oliveira, and myself, if you don't know me, my name is Fire Chief John Lynch, and I represent the Fort River Fire Department. And we're gathered here today to present to the public a brand new po uh, program that's been rolled out by the EMS Division in conjunction with the Fort River Fire Department and many, many partnerships with different organizations throughout Fall River and Bristol County. I welcome you here to the Fire Department Headquarters and the North Station. The North Station, if you look over there, is dedicated to Lieutenant Paul Bernard, who tragically lost his life in a fire in 1987. But today we're here to talk about saving lives. We all know that we're in the middle of a crisis, the COVID crisis. Well, I want everyone to be aware that the Florida Fire Department, and especially the EMS Division, has not forgotten about the opioid crisis. It has not overshadowed anything in our minds. We've been combating the COVID crisis, and we are still attending to the opioid crisis. Is Beth here? Our Deputy Director of EMS, Beth Fonts, is a very good spokesperson for that. She's a leader in this opioid crisis. But today I'm going to say a few words, and most of them are over, and I'm going to turn it over to the key players in this new program called Safe Station. Each of our stations has this sign here. Our goal is to save lives always. And I want everyone out there in the public, anybody affected by the opioid crisis, to understand we have not forgotten and we are here to help you. Today, we have many partners, many important people. None so more important as our mayor, Mayor Paul, Paul Coogan. We have representing the state office, Caitlin Rowley from Senator Roderick's office, Sophia Maeta from Republican, I mean, Representative Fiola's office, and Skyla Cowley. Representative Schmidt's office. At this time, I'd like to turn this over to probably one of the most important people in this new program. He was the leader of this. He's the one who brought many key players into this, and it was a collaboration. And sometimes that's a hard thing to do. When Director Oliveira brought Lieutenant William Leonardo on board with this. He chose the right man. And I cannot give him enough accolades for what he has done to bring us to this day where we have this most important program to combat this crisis. So with that, nobody better to talk about this program than Lieutenant William Leonardo. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank you all for coming today. 
It's an honor to have the privilege to tell you about the Fall River Safe Station program. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge the individuals who made this program a reality. Firstly, the visionary, who aspired to bring this insightful program to the city of Fall River. Director of Emergency Medical Services, Timothy Oliveira. Chief John Lynch, who always champions any program that he feels will have a positive impact on this community, which he so dearly loves. Mr. Michael Bryant, Carrie Phillips, and all the folks at Stepping Stone Peer to Peer, who unselfishly committed to providing recovery coaching services to the Safe Station program, despite the uncertainty of its development. Nancy Paul, Dr. George Maxted, and their amazing staff at Stanley Street Treatment and Rehabilitation, who continue to dedicate themselves to helping people of this community and made available to us all of their resources. Stephanie Perry, Director Ron Audette, Vice President Brendan Hayden, and all the folks at Steward Healthcare who offered themselves as a community partner and committed to accommodating safe station patients within their healthcare system. There are so many moving parts to a program such as this, and it wouldn't have been complete without Jamie Shorten and the staff at Bay Cove Human Services, who committed to providing us with on-site behavioral health services to support the project. But the whole program would not have come to fruition without the dedication of Providence Fire Department Assistant Chief of Emergency Medical Services, Zachariah Kenyon, who, along with the Alorza administration, instituted the program within the city of Providence and was overwhelmingly willing, willing to share his experience and expertise with us. Back in June of 2019, the Alorza administration, along with the Providence Fire Department, hosted a press conference at the Mesa Street Fire Station, highlighting the successes of the Safe Station program within the city of Providence. Director of Emergency Medical Services, Timothy Oliveira, attended the press conference and immediately recognized the need for such a program within our community. Here in Fall River, under his direction, we began the lengthy planning process aimed at instituting such a program. As the meetings became more frequent and the pieces began to fall into place, it looked like our goal to bring safe stations to Fall River was nearing completion. But, unaware that as winter grew near, the world was about to face a global pandemic, which would bring the project to a screeching halt. COVID-19 slowed our progress but the team's dedication was not hampered, and as soon as possible, the planning resumed. On March 1st of this year, what started as a simple concept became a reality in our city. As providers of emergency medical services within the city of Fall River, our paramedics and firefighters are all too familiar with the devastation and heartbreak that oftentimes accompanies substance use problems. We respond to such incidents on a daily basis within our city but are often consciously aware that, although we provide immediate, immediate life-saving treatment in that moment, most times we are only a temporary fix. The Safe Station program changes that, as it allows us a unique opportunity to be proactive, a role which transcends the limited utility of reacting responsively, excuse me, of re reactively responding to emergencies after they've occurred. It's a role we welcome and a role we are excited about. If we can prevent just one person or one family from having to experience the pain and turmoil that accompanies an overdose and the aftermath that follows, the whole program takes on a new meaning for each of us. The Fall River Safe Station program utilizes the city's six fire stations as access points for community members seeking assistance with any type of substance use problem. We currently have recovery coach service provided by Stepping Stone from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Our professional responders will provide a quick screening exam and then summon a recovery professional from Stepping Stone who will respond to the station to assist us. The recovery coach will determine the need for assistance from Bay Cove Human Services or Stanley Street Treatment and Rehabilitation and request those resources as needed. The recovery professional will determine the needs of the patient and attempt to make suitable accommodations through the various resources available to them. 
St. Anne's Hospital has expressed a willingness to accept safe station patients who require transportation to a hospital emergency department for a variety of reasons whenever available. The Fall River Fire Department Division of Emergency Medical Services has committed to providing all of the needed transportation for the program. Together, through a coordinated effort spearheaded by each of the partner agencies, we have been able to assist three members of our community in bypassing the emergency department and reaching definitive treatment, including admission to a treatment program where necessary and appropriate. In closing, I want to thank you all again for your presence here today. The men and women of the Fall River Fire Department are dedicated to the well-being, health, and safety of this community and all of its members. As I've outlined today, Safe Stations allows us one more avenue with which to demonstrate our commitment to service. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call up somebody who's always been a big supporter of everything that the fire department and the EMS division does. His Honor, the Mayor of Fall River, Paul E. Coogan. Most of you know me. I'm only going to talk for a couple of minutes. Uh, I do want to acknowledge the people that are here today. Chief Lynch, Tim Oliveira, Lieutenant Leonardo, St. Anne's, Stepping Stone, Boston Medical Center, and all the guys in the Fall River Fire Department and EMS crew that will be the ones dealing with the people that come to our stations all over the city for help. This program will make the first step to recovery easier and more accessible to those who don't know where to turn. Now we will have a trusted resource in all corners of our city. These struggling with substance abuse can go to any of the city's fire stations um, and receive services between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m where they will be treated with empathy and professionalism by our fire department staff. Then they will be connected with the resources they needed long term to try to turn their lives around so they can become contributing members of society. The people on the front lines of this battle fight this battle every single day. And this is just going to give us another tool that we can use to try to help families in Fall River get through this vicious cycle of dependency. Thank you very, very much. At this time, I'd like to call up another key player, Mr. Michael Bryant, Project Director of Peer to Peer. Michael? This is more of um, speaking to um, those that are still out there and that still may be struggling. And I think that's the purpose of this Safe Station um, project. Um, I'm not going to say anything more um, eloquent or speak about more of the support services that are being provided um, that the chief or Lieutenant Leonardo or the mayor did. Um, this is more to reach um, the population, um, my population, that we're trying to support. This is another pathway um, possibly to your recovery. Um, this is another safe station and hence why it's called Safe Station um, to your recovery. I know the fear that's involved um, when you're trying to access treatment. Um, this is a safe, secluded place where you can access that help, where you're going to be treated like a human being, where stigma is not going to be introduced or involved in that type of treatment. And for someone like myself, um, that's super important. Um, so I'm the face of recovery. There's a misconception of what people like myself look like, right? So you're looking at it. So to 
my brother and my brothers and sisters that are out there still struggling you can stop at any one of the six fire stations and access the support that you need I think for once we're being reactive I mean proactive instead of reactive in our community we're no longer working in silos we're working together as a team with our local stakeholders and this is a beautiful thing and this is something four of us should be proud of this, we're the first in the state to have a safe station project and I believe it's going to be successful you know we're modeling a beautiful project from from Providence and Nashua and with their success I think we can be equally as successful um, and with that I, I, I thank you uh, for your time thank you Michael As you can see, this is a partnership. Next, I'd like to call up Dr. George Maxted for a few words. Doctor. Thank you, and uh, uh, thank you, Mayor Coogan, uh, for this. Um, uh, Chief Lynch, um, Billy Leonardo, Billy, you've got, got a title, but I'm just going to call you Firefighter Leonardo, um, who really put this all together. Was I was uh, in, uh, really impressed with the, effort that, the efforts that were made more than a year ago to start this process. Um, my CEO, the CEO of STAR, um, Nancy Paul, asked me to start attending the, the meetings. I was just so impressed with the, uh, the, the depth and the, um, the commitment that I saw in, the, in those meetings. Uh, and it was very challenging during COVID-19, um, and we're, we're still we're still de dealing with that challenge. But what it showed me is that this, that Fall River really cares about um, this problem, uh, opioid use disorder or substance use disorder. Um, and they've th the result of this of the safe 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 stations has been that uh, it, it now is uh, it doesn't need to be stigmatized. Um, that we accept it as a chronic illness that, um, that affects many of our friends and our family. Uh, and this is one way to, to solve that crisis, to make it available for everybody, the, the treatment that's needed. Um, the, the people that are involved, uh, Stepping Stone and uh, um, uh, the, the other agencies that are involved, it, it's, a, it's really quite a team effort. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a sign that Fall River really cares. So, so I, I just thank everybody that's, uh, that's, 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 that's made this happen. And I'm, I'm really uh, happy to be part of it. The next person I'd like to introduce is a very old and very dear friend of mine. He knew me when I was just starting out as a firefighter. He referred to us as bucket heads because of the helmets we wore. And he was a young paramedic. But he's the epitome of success. That somebody can start at the ground level as a paramedic in the trenches and rise to the position that he has attained at this point still as a young man. He's a good reason why this community has such a great respect for the health care providers. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce my dear friend, Brendan Hayden, who is the Vice President of the EMS Steward Healthcare Establishment. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my distinct pleasure to be here today to bring about this program and to announce its initiation. You know, the opioid crisis, whether you're in the fire department or in a hospital or a community support agency, is tragic and devastating. And anything that we can do in, as a community partner to be able to help alleviate, stave, or help increase access to care in our community is essential. As a healthcare system, we are dedicated to serving the people of our community. 
This program is another extension of that. And on behalf of Stewart Healthcare System and St. Anne's Hospital, we are proud to be part of this organization and proud to serve this community and proud to partner with the fire department and all the other community partners who are here today. Thank you. Our last speaker, who I'm going to refer to as the closer, has been just as important as Lieutenant Leonardo. He held the program together when we did run into the standstills. He helped guide us when we had no guidance. I'm proud to introduce him as another member of the fire service from a sister city of Providence, Deputy Chief Zachariah Kenyon. Thank you. I didn't know I was going to have all the pressure of being the closer. Uh, I wasn't warned of that, but here I am. So a uh, little background, just so you know, I live in a strange part of Rhode Island where I drive through Massachusetts every day on uh, my way to work and on my way home. I stop in Fall River to get my morning coffee. I'm going to stop today to get my afternoon coffee. Um, and when I started Safe Station in Providence, I figured people from Fall River would take that 15 minute ride to Providence. It's easy. I do it every day. But when somebody's at this time of change in their life. It's a brief window. Um, they want to do something different. They don't have much time. They need access to help right away. And that 15 minute ride could seem like weeks for that person. So when Fall River reached out to me and said, we want to start Save Stations, I was all in. These guys have been great. They've done a superb job to get this off the ground. I give kudos to everybody here behind me. The credit does not go towards Providence Fire or Nashua or Manchester. It goes to Fall River Fire and EMS and the mayor of Fall River and what they're doing now to provide access to recovery right here in the city of Fall River. So congratulations and good luck. And the people here will now know that rather than the fire department just coming to you at a time of crisis, you can come to them at a time of hope. Thank you. At this time, if there's no one left that wants to speak, we'll field uh, some, a few questions from the media and anybody else who would like to ask something that they think is pertinent. Um, yeah, Chief, I have a question. Hi, um, has your department seen an increase in overdoses because of the pandemic? Well, nationwide, there's been a dramatic increase. Um, fortunately, in Fall River, um, there, there was a, 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 a blip in uh, June um, when we saw an increase in uh, overdose and uh, overdose deaths. Um, it's, it's, it's evened out a little bit. So uh, I think we've been fortunate, uh, thanks to the agencies you're, you're seeing right now, um, to try to help mitigate the uh, the problem, but um, nationwide it's been a, a very big problem. There's been a, a large increase in overdose deaths nationwide. Thank you, Doc. Is Safe Station specifically for opioid use, or if somebody has another addiction, are they able to come and get help here? It should be for any addiction problem at all. This is to help the people with the problem, no matter what it is. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. That concludes this. Uh, if you come up with any other questions that you forgot about, we can be contacted anytime at headquarters. Lieutenant Leonardo will be more than willing to answer anything that you need. Thank you very much. Good day.